Well, it's official. Disney owns Lucasfilm. And with it, the rights to Star Wars. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. And and they want to release episode 7 in 2015. And then they want to release another episode every two years. Okay, so I need your ideas. Any Star Wars you've ever wanted to see. It's open season. Okay, okay. So the end of Return of the Jedi, all right, the Empire dissolves, right? So there's this huge vacuum of power. You have all these different factions that are trying to have a Star War to get that power. It's like... Star Wars meets Game of Thrones. The new toy lines alone. Okay, who else? So, you know how Vader dies at the end? Yeah. Yes. Okay, right, right, right. But he's not really gone. He's like a blue force ghost now, okay? So what if he sticks around and he hangs out with Luke, makes up for lost time? That really undermines the sacrifice. Oh, he could get parenting advice from Obi-Wan and Yoda's ghosts? Like a Wilson home improvement thing. These are all good ideas. These are better than the first few. Don't let anyone tell you differently. Stormtroopers. Because at the end of the war, all the stormtroopers are, are a bunch of homeless, out-of-work war vets. Except they're all clones of one guy. So it's like Star Wars meets multiplicity meets Rambo. And all the homeless vets are Jango Fett. And he's like, where's our parade? And the other Jangos are like, where is our parade? Because where is it, you know? And then the people are like, get a job, you lazy Jango. Stop saying Jangos. I'm sold. What if the Emperor has a secret son who vows to avenge his father's death. And his name could be, um, Darth Venger, or, uh, Darth Darkness, or Darth Revenge Dark! The Ewoks are somewhere. Yes. Three more good ideas. I'm banking them. Uh, where are we in real time? 2060. Thank you. We've been making Star Wars up until 2060. It can't have been that long ago still, right? Because it was a long time ago in 1977 with Star Wars Episode Four. Can they have caught up now? You know, maybe they interact with with our world or something like that. Maybe they, they save Kennedy or they shoot Kennedy. 2062, moving on. All right, so we've seen Star Wars and we know where we're going. We know the future, but what about the past? You know, how'd we get here? I'm talking prequel. We track Darth Vader's rise to power. Those are the prequels. They shot those already. Is that a problem? No. Star Wars meets Usual Suspects. Star Wars meets Battlestar Galactica. But literally, in the thing. Yeah, mine too. Star Wars meets Harlem Globetrotters. What about her 18th Star Wars meets my Star Wars from 2140? A uh, guy on Tatooine, he finds a magic idol and it lets him switch bodies with his son. Okay, so what, that's just like a standard body switching movie? Yeah, but on Tatooine. Star Wars, the blank of the thing. It's gonna be an excellent episode 221. Chew bud! It's like Air Bud, but Chewbacca instead of a dog. There's no basketball in Star Wars. Han invents it in the movie. Why? Either way, we already killed Han in two previous episodes, so we have to make sure that the time turner from Harry Potter that fell through the wormhole still stays in episode 19, and then I think we've covered our asses. A tall, hairy creature that plays basketball is just Teen Wolf. Teen Wolf on Dagobah! Yeah. That's mine. Hello, episode 222 and 223. Sucrose, dextrose, space. Citric acid, Mon Mothma, natural flavor. Perfect!